Hi, my name is Ryan Paul of PM Consulting. Uh, you're, you're looking to, jo to jump into the, the craft brew space, and uh, we're very excited to join you on this. Uh, you've given us some data regarding with some beer and brewery data, uh, and we've come up with some observations uh, surrounding some craft brewery locations by state, as well as some state specific beer property metrics. And uh, we've provided some observations to aid you in your Brew Forward 2019 campaign. Before we get started, uh, we're missing some data. Um, alcohol by volume, 62 beers are, are missing uh, alcohol content data, which isn't very concerning. What's more concerning is the bitterness data. We're missing about 1,005 uh, bitterness ratings. Uh, sorry, 1,005 beers are missing bitterness ratings. And, and of about 2,400 2, beers, that's about 40-ish percent, uh, which is a lot. So that will definitely skew the results. And we'll, we'll talk more about that going forward. But to begin with, we'll, we'll look at uh, the current, uh, you know, the current landscape of, of craft breweries in in America. Uh, Colorado leads with forty seven breweries. Um, at the other uh, at the other end of the spectrum, we have places like the D.C. area, the Dakotas, West Virginia only have one. Uh, to begin with, we'd suggest uh, starting somewhere in the middle, so some place like uh, Minnesota, Arizona, uh, Missouri, places between nine and ten. Uh, these are places where uh, they're not oversaturated with craft breweries, but also have craft breweries have been successful there. So that's, those are the places we suggest starting out. Um, and uh, we're taking a look at the median alcohol by volume across the states. Uh, somewhere between 4 and 6% seems to be a good, safe place to start. Um, again, going above above this or below this um, wouldn't isn't, a bad thing. We'll look at why. Go. We'll look at why in a few slides. But to begin with, this is a good, safe place to start. Somewhere in that four to six percent range. And again, bitterness. We have to take this with a grain of salt since we're missing forty-two percent of bitterness ratings of the beers provided. Um, but somewhere between forty and sixty is a good place. Is a good, safe place given the data that we do have. I mentioned back that um, you know. We've mentioned some safe places to start, but again, people, and especially in the craft beer space, provide or buy what they want. So if people want bitter beers, they're going to buy bitter beers. And, and craft breweries have been, uh, have been meeting that demand as well. Places like Oregon and Virginia, Missouri, uh, Massachusetts have some very bitter beers. And that's, as you can see, Oregon uh, has, has one that's more than double the, the largest median uh, bitterness of beer. And, and again, safe, safe for alcohol by volume. Um, Colorado, Kentucky, Indiana are, all have some very, very uh, alcohol-filled beers. Um, and yeah, so again, people will buy what they want, even even though it, it might, it's probably good to start within those safe uh, median areas that, that, we've, that we've provided. Another thing, uh, so here's some top styles uh, provided by breweries. We don't have sales data, but what we do know is that um, these are the most popular uh, styles of beer provided by craft breweries across the nation right now. Um, so American IPAs, American pale ales are, are good places to start. Um, we can't prove that these are the most popular from a consumer perspective, but with, with some sales data, we can definitely prove that, um, that, that, uh, breweries are providing these, uh, are, are, are providing, uh, more beers of this style because of the, because of a higher demand for them. And another thing that we've noticed, again, we're missing a lot of bitterness data, so this take this is the grain of salt. But what we've noticed is that uh, bitter beers tend to have more alcohol in them. So just just a, um, something to look at, especially if we're we're looking to start with IPAs and pale ales. So again, just to sum up, um, location-wise, we want to start somewhere, someplace like Minnesota or Arizona, places that um, aren't oversaturated but uh, have had successful. Uh, craft brewery ventures. Um, styles, we want to start with IPAs, pale ales. Those are what breweries are providing most of nowadays. Um, and bitterness-wise, if we want to make some uh, some specific decisions based on bitterness, uh, we'll, we'll definitely need to get some more info. So thank you so much for listening, and we look forward to joining you on, the, on this uh, venture into the craft brew space. Thank you very much.